another of the sons of the disciple of Jesus. Well, it's that time of year, that Bill O'Reilly and now Megan Fox celebrate. There's a wolf on the Well, there is a wolf, but it's not on the Christian religion, since its beginning 2013 years ago, waged a wolf on the winter solstice. The winter solstice is December, December the 21st. It's a time of and if you are waging a war on a time of year, they have a thing about numbers, time of year, what you need to think of demons, and all the demons are on the time of year that scale of 12 Waging this war on the winter solstice. Time of year appears to be what time of year? The winter solstice, December the 21st to the 25th. On the 21st, that is the shortest day. The longest night. After December the 21st, days slowly get longer and the night gets shorter. And there is where the mist of light overcoming darkness happens. You see, our ancestors were smart. When we came to America and even before we came to America, went was a dangerous time of year. We, a lot of us died during the winter. Now, of course, uh, people die now in the winter, but less people die now, thanks to science and technology, than they did back in the past to rely on the imaginary God. So this winter solstice, December the 21st to the 20, December the 25th, the sun appears tall in the sky, and after three days, appears to start moving again. Of course, that's how it appears, how it's expected to be on the Earth at this time of year. This is where uh, the sun. Once a 
Thank 
Jesus, but see the eyes of power. Maybe you didn't see him on the ground, but he got up on a high mountain. Or if he went up in an airplane, fifty thousand feet, if the earth was flat, you should be able to look. So, this is the real world. The Christians, like Bill O'Reilly and Meg, Megan, Meg, Meg Kelly, Megan Kelly, uh, are going on about white Santa and the war on Christmas. Because they want to distract you. They want you to talk about white weather Santa and Jesus as what? But they want you Talk about, and Bill O'Reilly and the rest, some of them want you to talk about the awfulness or the uh, absurdity of the war on Christmas to distract you from the real issue, the 2013-year-old war on the winter solstice, a time of year. They have a war on the spring equinox. Again, a time of year that happens naturally. We celebrate it as the spring equinox. They celebrate it as Easter. And they got a whole bullshit story surrounding it. They not only have an imaginary Jesus, imaginary Jehovah, and imaginary angels, saints, all kinds of imaginary beings, they have it. Santa to win to uh, fit to and they add his elves, his reindeer. You know, after they sang the song about Santa, they needed more to sell more Christmas songs. So they invented reindeer. And they started singing about one reindeer, then two, and then they come up they always are saying about the reindeer, so they invented Rudolph. The red nosed reindeer. And of course, uh, Gene Autry sang that song and sold more Christmas music to you and I. <laughs> and it, at Easter, you, they want you to talk about how Jesus has saved us. And then they add this other bullshit on top of the bullshit. But that's all they got is bullshit. You're supposed to fall for the Easter bunny in the middle of the which is the same. The only difference between Santa and the Easter bunny and that kind of bullshit that they tell is they eventually tell you that it is bullshit. So here we are. We got bullshit on top of bullshit, and the boy is in a pile, and it's just steaming hot. Bullshit. It stinks to high. It's so bad. It is all shit. So they're not content just to fool you with Jesus. They're going to fool you with Santa, fool you with the Easter Bunny. All these magical, mystical, imaginary beings. All this bullshit piled high so you can't see over it. And you be free. Winter solstice, spring equinox, the four seasons, nature. Nature is the reason for the season. It is nature. Bottle the mind of people believe the other bullshit. Nature is the reason we have seasons winter, spring, summer, fall. Nature. Not summer. 
God in heaven. We have rain, not because of some God in heaven is mad. We have thunderstorms, not because of some God in heaven is mad. It's nature. It's weather and weather conditions. It's a process. So here we are. Once again, having to endure the bullshit that there's a war on this one. When in fact, the truth is, honest goodness truth is, there has been a 2013 year old war on the winter soldier. And in 2014, I'm sure that the Christians will be ending this war on Christmas and spring equinox and all the other aspects of the earth and of us as human beings. They hate natural born human beings. Let me cover that up. That was a pretty good one. So here you have it. 2014, it'll be 2014 years of the war on the winter soldier. The war on the spring. And they pile the shit up so high, they're hoping you don't see over their shit. And you start making weather for Christmas, or whether Santa Claus is black or white, or green or yellow. Celebrate the roots for the seed. And this year, December, during the winter, winter solstice. The good news is the winter solstice shows us all that while it may be cold as fuck, the winter solstice is telling us, showing us that summer is here. It's just a short while Thank you.